hello viewers uh, welcome to my channel and uh, today's topic is rh incompatibility uh, but before starting this topic i would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel and if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition uh, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and the link for the website is just below this video in the description area now come to the topic what is uh, rh incompatibility you know when a mother and uh, uh, the unborn baby they carry different rh protein factors you know uh, their condition is called rh incompatibility and it occurs when a mother is rh negative and her baby is rh positive you know and the orange factor is a it is a specific protein found on the surface of your red blood cells okay like your blood type you know you inherit your orange factor type from your parents and the most people are orange positive but uh, a small percentage of the people are orange negative okay so this means that uh, they lack the orange protein you know and a positive or the negative symbol uh, after your blood type which indicates the rh factor you know for example uh, blood type a b uh, positive you know uh, it might be written on your medical card or medical record you know and your rh factor does not directly affect your health you know uh, but the rh factor becomes uh, important during the pregnancy and if a woman is rh negative and her baby is rh positive then her body will approach the rh positive protein as something that's foreign you know okay and uh, this means that if the blood cells from your uh, baby they cross your blood stream which can happen during the pregnancy the labor and the delivery and your immune system will make uh, antibodies against your baby's red blood cells and these antibodies are the parts of your body like uh, body's immune system you know and they destroy the foreign substances so if you are uh, orange negative blood type uh, you are considered uh, like uh, uh, sensitized to your baby's uh, uh, baby once your body has uh, made these antibodies you know and this means that your uh, body might send these uh, antibodies Uh, across the placenta to attack your baby's uh, like uh, uh, red blood cells you know and your placenta uh, uh, is the organ that uh, like uh, uh, connects you and uh, your baby you know and uh, the medication can help with this condition to ensure that both you and your baby stay healthy you know uh, there is things what are the symptoms well of the rh incompatibility you know well your unborn baby's symptoms can range from mild to life threatening you know and uh, when your antibodies attack your baby's red blood cells the hemolytic disease can occur you know and this means that your baby's red blood cells are destroyed by the antibodies you know and when your uh, baby's uh, healthy red blood cells are destroyed uh, the bilirubin level builds up in the uh, in their blood stream you know and uh, you know bilirubin is the chemical uh, uh, that's created from the breakdown of the red blood cells you know and uh, too much bilirubin is a sign that the liver which is responsible for process, processing the like old blood cells you know uh, is having trouble you know and your baby may have uh, one or more of the symptoms like maybe yellowing of the skin maybe lethargy maybe Uh, low muscle tone you know so these symptoms will uh, subside once treatment of the rh uh, incompatibility uh, incompatibility is uh, completed you know well uh, the next thing is who is at risk you know well any woman uh, who is rh negative and is having a child with uh, a father who is rh uh, positive you know uh or with an unknown rh status is at uh, risk of rh incompatibility you know and about 13% uh, uh, miscarriages in the united states have been this kind of a, a match up you know and uh, 
it takes time for the body to uh, develop the antibodies you know so uh, first born child uh, children are usually not affected you know uh, and if the mother became sensitized you know uh, because of the miscarriage or maybe due to the abor- abortion you know uh, her first birth may be affected by the rh uh, incompatibility and a mother can be exposed to rh positive blood during certain uh, prenatal tests you know so once this, uh, one example is like uh, uh, amniocentesis you know and in this test your doctor uses the needle to remove some of the fluid from the sac which is around the body you know uh, baby's body you know and this fluid can be tested for the problems in the developing fetus okay the next thing is uh, the diagnosis you know uh, well a blood test uh, determine your rh status uh, uh, will likely be done at your first prenatal visit you know and uh, if you are rh negative your partner may also be tested you know and if your partner is also rh negative you are not having anything to worry about you know uh, but if your partner is rh positive uh, and you are rh negative you know your uh, doctor will uh, like uh, look for these signs for the rh incompatibility you know and uh, a positive direct uh, Uh, Combs test is a sign of RH incompatibility. You know, so this test uses the blood sample to look the presence of cell destroying antibodies of the surface of your red blood cells. You know, and the higher than normal levels of bilirubin uh, in your infant's blood is a sign of RH incompatibility. And uh, the signs of the red blood cell destruction in your infant's blood are the sign of RH incompatibility as well. You know, and the next thing is about the Uh, treatment options once you're diagnosed with this condition you know well the treatment focus on uh, preventing the effects of the incompatibility you know and in mild cases uh, you may be treated with a series of blood transfusions or uh, uh, hydrating fluids electrolyte uh, electrolytes and maybe uh, phototherapy you know and uh, you know the phototherapy involves the keeping your body Uh, near like uh, fluorescent lights to help to reduce the blood burden in your blood you know and uh, these procedures may be repeated until the rh negative antibodies and the excess blood burden has been removed from your baby's blood you know and uh, whether it must be repeated uh, it depends on the severity of your baby's condition you know and uh, if you are pregnant and uh, your doctor determines that you have already developed the antibodies against the and uh, baby you know uh, your pregnancy will be closely monitored in that case you know and you can prevent the effects of rh uh, incompatibility by getting the injection of the rh immune globulins you know during your first trimester during a miscarriage or while having any bleeding during your pregnancy you know and uh, this blood product contains the antibodies to the rh factor you know and if your baby has rh positive blood you should get a second injection a few days after you give birth you know and uh, in rare but in serious cases you know uh, a series of special blood transfusions can be performed while your baby is in your uterus or maybe after the delivery you know and the success of uh, rh uh, uh, lg shots uh, Uh, has made this treatment very uh, only treatment uh, is less than 1% of the cases of uh, uh, this type you know well the outlook is good uh, in mild cases and uh, the severe cases in which the rh uh, incompatibility uh, or not prevented you know can result in severe complications and which may include like the brain damage of the baby you know and maybe seizure maybe anemia maybe fluid build up bed swelling in the baby you know or maybe the heart failure and the death of the baby can also occur so sometimes it is a serious complication you know and the origin incompatibility is rarely a problem in the countries with a good uh, medical care you know uh, but in the developing countries outlook is not as favorable as in the developed countries you know and due to lack of the medical facilities and uh, this condition is preventable 
and if you think that uh, you may be pregnant and uh, have rh negative blood type you know you should talk with your doctor to determine the best plan and if the father of the child is rh positive or uh, his blood is uh, unknown uh, receiving the preventive treatment with the immune globulins will prevent uh, the serious effects you know so it's very important that uh, uh, you know your blood group and your partner's blood group you know so this way you will be better able to uh, manage uh, this condition you know thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to like subscribe or share these videos to support this channel thank you goodbye